Good morning on Friday the 4th of December and myself and the Reverend Barbara hope that this day is full of God's presence for each and every one of you. For in the morning, Lord, you hear our voices. In the morning, we lay our requests before you and wait expectantly. Today's readings come from Psalm 19 and Isaiah 44 verses 9 to 17. It's a good number of years since the Tate Gallery in Liverpool opened. I can remember reading about the build-up to the opening in my newspaper and one thing sticks in my mind. It was a comment from the paper's arts correspondent. They were lamenting about the fact that some of the main exhibits from the Tate Gallery in London were being relocated to Liverpool. And specifically, one of the items which was being moved was a particular favourite of theirs. They said that they would be travelling from Liverpool to London on a weekly basis in order to get their fix of seeing this series of modern paintings. Having logged the comment in my mind, I was particularly keen to see this exhibit when I eventually visited the gallery. And I'll be honest, I couldn't make head and tail of it. I was completely bemused why anyone needed to see it every week. Yet, undeniably, that person virtually worshipped this exhibit. And this brings me to what I think is a very fine line. It's right to admire the talent of someone, particularly if they are an especially gifted person who is making the best use of that God-given talent. However, I think that we cross the line when we begin to worship the product of the talent. Some people make a living and own businesses which make objects for other people to worship. And it's a worship of these objects which Isaiah is speaking about today. How is it possible for these inanimate items to respond to prayers such as save me you are my god no matter how beautiful the craftsmanship may be the items can't hear and have no understanding we may not be able to see god but god is living and active jesus rose from the dead and is alive and the Holy Spirit is God living in us and is an ongoing presence guiding our lives. We worship a living God as Christians as we live out our daily lives each day to his honour and glory. And we do give thanks to God for his ongoing provision. Our next prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for those who over recent weeks have had the courage to look beyond themselves and to think of others. Those other people may well have been strangers, but that made no difference. We ask that you continue to help us to follow your example of showing concern and meeting the needs of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for today's prayer points, let's pray about the continued progress relating to the COVID-19 vaccine. Let's give thanks for all medical staff. And let's ask God to help us to be conscious of the needs of others. 
I now come to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a blessing. Know that the Lord comes to you in love, power, and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all and all your loved ones today and evermore. Amen.